In the case of full virtualization, the operating system thinks that it owns all the devices already. And the way devices are virtualized is the familiar trap and emulate technique. That is, for the devices that the operating system thinks it owns, when it tries to make any access to those devices, it's going to result in a trap into the hypervisor, and the hypervisor will emulate the functionality that the operating system intends for that particular device. In this sense, there is not much scope for innovation in the way devices are virtualized in a fully virtualized environment. There are lots of details, of course, that the hypervisor has to worry about once the guest traps into the hypervisor to ensure the legality of the I.O. operation and also whether the guest is allowed to make those I.O. operations and so on. But nothing fundamental conceptually is there in terms of device virtualization in a fully virtualized environment. Better virtualized setting is much more interesting. The I.O. devices seen by the guest operating system are exactly the ones that are available to the hypervisor. That is, the set of hardware devices that are available in the platform are exactly the ones that the para-virtualized guest operating system is going to be able to manipulate. This gives an opportunity for innovating the interaction between the guest operating system and the hypervisor, in particular ways in which we can make device virtualization more efficient when we have this para-virtualized environment. So for one thing, it is possible for the hypervisor to come up with clean and simple device abstractions that can be used by the para-virtualized operating system. Further, through APIs, it becomes possible for the hypervisor to expose shared buffers to the guest operating system so that efficiently data can be passed between the guest operating system and the hypervisor and to the devices without incurring the overhead of copying multiple times data from one address space into another. And similarly, there can be innovations in the way event delivery happens between the hypervisor and the guest operating system. So in order to do device virtualization, we have to worry about two things. One is how to transfer control back and forth between the hypervisor and the guest. Because devices being hardware entities they need manipulation by the hypervisor in a privileged state. And there is data transfer that needs to be done because the hypervisor is in a different protection domain compared to the guest operating system. So these are two things that one has to worry about in device virtualization. And we'll see how both control transfer and data transfer are accomplished in both the fully virtualized and the para-virtualized settings.